So here this afternoon, um, Liam Jackson and Finley Bart have signed for the club. Um, Darren, Chris, what are your thoughts on that signing? What do you hope they bring to the season ahead? Well, I think I probably know a bit more about Finley than, than you do, and you probably know a bit more about uh, Liam. Um, I've known I've known Finley since he was a kid. Um, worked with him a lot at Norwich, um, so I've always kind of kept a rest of what his career's been doing and how he's been doing it. I've no doubt he'll play at a higher level than Easton. Um, I was keen to, as soon as I knew I was getting the job here, um, he was one of my main targets. Um, the ability he's got, he's obviously left footed, so I know that position fairly well. He's a driven lad, scores goals, and very creative. So it's very much about um, bringing that type of player into this football club because he's ambitious and he wants to play higher. Um, and we believe he can do that. He's, he's very creative. When you've got someone like Jacko up front who can natural finisher, you need that combination, having the two here who have played with each other last season um, immediately will help them to, to fit in as well because it just shows them you know, they can step straight into a team where they know they're playing together and they know each other's games really well. Um, yeah, we're, we're really pleased to have them here, I mean, they've, they've got some ability, I think we, everybody who's known those two boys who's watched them play last season knew they were going to play at a higher level. Um, we're pleased that we've managed to, to secure their signatures. Yeah. Well, well, Jacko, I've been following Jacko since he was playing Anglican Cup football back in Norwich. Um, and I actually tried to sign him and take him to Oxford from yeah, when he was, he was 17. And it was Norwich United that picked him up and beat myself to the signature. Um, I've always kept in touch with him. Always got irons in the fire. I think any manager would say that. We're still speaking to a few at the moment. Um, hopefully they'll come off. Um, some will, some won't. But no, we're, we're really pleased the way the squad is shaping up. It was important for us to get these two in. I think it was, you know, particularly a lack of goals and maybe creativity a little bit last season. I think top goals were six goals. So we knew that was an area of the pitch we needed to work on. Um, as I say, these two were, were, were vital targets for us because we know they can score goals and we know they're creative. Um, and we believe that they can play at a higher level. Um, so yeah, it was a no-brainer really getting them in. But yeah, we've also got some, some other lads we're looking at, um, some experience we think we need to bring into the side as well. Um, but getting these two on board as well was the most important part. And we're hoping now those other players will, will come in around that. Yeah, great signings. Obviously, we've um, done quite a lot of homework on them. Um, Darren and Chris obviously have got good uh, contacts um, and both know one of each of the players very well. Uh, we've obviously done our homework as a club and we're really excited to get uh, good players like this on board and uh, big excitement for next season. Uh, Darren and Chris have obviously come into the building um, about three or four months ago, but they've obviously been forward into the new season. Um, what do you think that will bring? Club. Well, there's been a massive change of, um, of what they want, the ethos that they're bringing with them. Um, obviously, Darren being an ex-pro, the expectations of procedures, organisation is very high, um, and I think that's good for our club. And as we've already seen, along with the media team with you guys today as well, we're a club in transition. We're going to make changes, and uh, we're going to be very much together as we move forward uh, next season, and hopefully, uh, should be an exciting one. Uh,